Sunrisers, welcome to this video with Alicia where we're gonna ride in the sand ring. I haven't actually rode in the sand ring for a while now because I've been working her out in the grass ring. And so I thought, well, let's bring her out here for a little bit, try something a little different. It's uh, been a little bit since I got on her because I was sick with COVID although it was barely a, a sore throat and a runny nose for me. I really can't complain. My whole family fared really, really well. Fever for a couple of days, no big deal whatsoever. So she's had some time off. I originally was going to be competing at WEC at the World Equestrian Center this week, but because we were off and then had to quarantine and whatnot, that those plans got canceled. And so instead we're out here and I've rescheduled competing at WEC for towards the end of my my stay, towards the end of my trip. So the goal right now is really just kind of building up her confidence and we all know that Lissy can have dragon moments and today is a little bit of a breezy day. It's one of those days where you might think the horses would be a little bit all over the place. Um, the gray horse that's on the other side of this field here I'm gonna to have to kind of keep an eye on because it was actually galloping around in its pasture earlier and I definitely want to make sure that I don't get caught in a situation where that horse is going to start galloping off and then my horse is going to get upset and I'm just going to see if I can keep her focused on me going around the ring I don't have any jumps set up today the jumps are out in the grass for one thing but also I don't need to jump her every time I ride her I'm just going to focus on keeping her on me the footing's a little bit uneven in here so there's going to be moments like that where she struggles and I'm going to ask her to move forward and move up so keeping her attention building a little bit of that fitness as well being able to go around the ring So much work, Alicia. <laughs> I swear, sometimes she's like the laziest. It's like, ah, everything in me to get her going. And then some days it's hard to contain her. So we'll take what we get. There's some nice little exhales from her. As she starts to loosen up and relax, she should start moving a little bit more forward. As I want to build up her fitness level, because I'm not working on hills, I'm not working on uh, gymnastics or pole work right now. Instead, I'm gonna be working on some transitions. We're gonna get into a little bit of her canter here. I wanna try to keep the transitions light. Now, when I do our first transitions, I don't expect it to be perfect. I just want her to move off my leg. I want to try to move her up and forward. She can tend to get a little downhill. One, two, three, and switch. 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 There we go. A little late. Better late than never. Try to ride her up and forward because I'm trying to not get the camera all caught up I'm riding a figure eight. Switch. Not light. So when that happens, that's her getting very much on her forehand. So I'll show you the difference when I get her up a bit more. So I have to be careful not to ride so much forward, but ride a lot of up. Okay, so watch, it's not about speed. We're gonna slow down, but think up. There, we got it really easily, good girl. I'm gonna actually cookie that good girl, whoa. If I can get her on her hind end, so a lot of times people think that if you don't have the flying lead change, you need to go faster. Not true. You need to just get them on their hind end. Good girl. Mm -hmm. We'll try that again. Good girl. 
So we're going to ask for a nice canter departure. So I'm going to think up, squeeze my hips. Oh, she says so much work. Ready? Good. I'm going to ride up. Up. Switch. There we go. Good girl. So that was me riding a little bit more assertively, asking for that up. You see how it's actually a slower canner. It's not about speed. It's about getting her on her hind end. And that takes muscle and balance and knowing what you're doing a little bit. And of course, as she gets more conditioned, that will get even better. She'll be able to hold that longer. I'm gonna do a couple more transitions here. And then I wanna try doing some multiple flying lead changes and see how that goes. So I'll just try here doing a couple transitions. So we're gonna go, whoa, back, good, up. Good girl. That wasn't very good transition down. That was a little sloppy. Hmm, wrong. Good girl. And a nice, powerful transition down. That's pretty good. Good girl. Left lead. No, you gotta listen, honey. You know, it's a little confusing when we were going to the right before. She was like, lead change. Back up. Want a soft transition. Good. Nice. Good girl. Actually, that was really good. I'm going to cook you that. Good girl. It was a little sloppy on my part as we try to figure out these little buttons together. I was pretty happy with that. Good girl. Left. Oh, a little late. Good. <laughs> Bad timing because you were having those big exhales at that time. So we're going to redo. Notice I don't get mad at her. I don't reef on her mouth. We're bitless anyways, but I don't want anxiety. I just want relaxed responsiveness. Good girl. A little cleaner than that. Good. Yes, see how she just kind of loped right down into that. There weren't any little fizzly steps of trot. I kind of did it off of a turn to make it a little easier on her. Very nice. And we care about these individual canter strides because it's going to be what leads to some really cool movements later if we can just learn to canter literally one step at a time. Good girl. We're going to think right lead. Nope. No, that was a trot. Rebalance. Try again. Yes. Without trotting off. Good girl. Yes. And then she fizzled out, so we'll back up. Good girl. I'm just playing around. Good. Try again. Yes. Without getting fizzled. Good girl. Yes, we'll reward that. Good girl. Just looking for her to offer up that power and then be able to shut it off again. Really good. And then I know her fitness isn't that good and especially being in this sand footing that's a little bit deeper, it's harder on them. So I'm being careful that I don't set her up to fail by asking for too much. She's doing really well, focusing. A 
let's try from a halt. Good girl. Good. Right lead. Yes. Oh, that was so good. I'm not worried about what she's doing with her head or anything like that. As she organizes herself better to make those little canter transitions, it's just going to get smoother and smoother. Now we're going to get ready to try some flying lead changes on a straight line and building up towards doing our tempi changes. Now that she's done some nice powerful transitions, but she's not too tired, which is really key. So what I'm going to do is ask her for a little canter here. And first we're going to just see what she offers by asking left. Good. And then asking right. And then asking left. Okay, girl. Yes. Okay, so that was a little messy, a little messy, a little bit of argument because it was hard. So what we're going to do now is we'll just kind of walk on a loose rein for a sec, let her stretch, and then I'm going to go through the pieces just at the, um, yeah, let's trot it. Thank you for offering that. And I'll just get you moving off my leg where I need you to be. So I'm gonna do a little exhales there, which is good. So when she feels my leg, I need her to be listening confidently and not be upset. So here we're gonna ask for her to yield to the right, good. Now I'm gonna ask her to yield to the left, good. Now to the right, good. Now to the left, good girl. Very good. So we need that softness from her to be able to get those transitions. Okay, girl, a little touch her breath for a second, then we'll try that again. Oh, hard work, isn't it? Let's see. I have to be careful that she doesn't get too tired because then I'm gonna set her up to fail. It's hard work. She, I don't ride her all the time. I try to get three sessions in a week. It's tricky because I have my two little girls at home, little six month old baby, nearly seven month old baby, and my toddler and my parents are only willing to watch them for so long. So three sessions a week is kind of what I go for. And usually I don't have an hour of riding time. I usually have an hour per horse. And when you factor in tacking up and all that sort of stuff, it's kind of a miracle that I get anything done <laughs> in my short sessions. But I really just have to make everything count and really know what I'm working on. So she's doing really well with her confidence in the ring. So now we're working on our lead changes. Okay, so we're gonna go, ask, ready, and switch. Oh, you got a little bit. There we go. Good girl. It's a little discombobulated there. Let's ask for a little bit more power in the hind end. Not get mad though, just power. Not running. Good girl. She tries so hard to pull down. And that's her getting a little bit tired. Come on. Power. Good girl. Good. Good. There, good girl. Whoa. That was messy. And you gotta remember, she doesn't know tempi changes. She used to struggle with just getting a right canter lead, if you can remember way back when. So the fact that she's offering from one to another is really, really key. Okay, so we played around with pushing her a little bit to get those changes to happen, messy a little bit. Now what I wanna do is try to refine it a little bit get it a little bit more smooth, which means that she'll be a little bit more relaxed through the process. And if that means they only get two changes, well then fine, we'll do two changes. But we're gonna focus on seeing if we can get them nice and smooth. So let's start on a right lead. Keeping in mind that her power is gonna to start to wane. Okay, ready, smooth, switch. 
Good. And switch. Good girl, yes. Okay, so only two changes. We stayed a lot more on the straight line. Good girl here. Offer that cookie. Good girl. We'll try that one more time going the other way. Make sure we get our front and our back end. Make sure that she's not stressing about it. And then we'll finish on that. So it's really important that we're not working our horses to the point of exhaustion because then it's harder for them to offer things and harder for them to do things correctly. It's important that we just start with what our horse is giving us as long as it's in the direction of what we want them to do. It might not be perfect, but as long as they're attempting to swap those leads or whatever it is we're asking them to do, that's going to be really key. And that when they get it wrong, we think, how can I help them get it right? We don't just get mad and start yanking on them or anything like that. It's just, okay, to do this, we need to be up. Good. And then we need to be up. Good. Good. Yes. Not super pretty, but getting there. Good girl. So just that comfort level of her getting those changes. So now we're leaving it on a note where she's not pulling on me. She's not upset about it. She's just doing it. Um, and it's hard for her, but she's trying. So we'll leave it there and then we'll just keep building on it to get it smoother and prettier. So now what I'm going to do is just let her go for a bit of a faster canter. Let her kind of move out a little Want to make sure she knows she can do different types of canter. And we also want to work on this emotional control. Which means that she has to be able to boogie and not be a crazy horse. So I have to make sure she can run a little bit without getting too much on her forehand. Telling her to boogie out a little bit. Because when we go to the World Equestrian Center or when we compete in Extreme Cowboy, we need to run a little bit. Come on, we got a boogie. Without losing our marbles. Good girl. Whew. Good job. We'll go off again and make sure we can get our left lead and go nice and fast. Work on the changing of speed. So we're not just going fast and slow. And then can you, can you go fast on a loose rein? Oh, we had a little slumble over bum there. Can we go a little slower? Feels like lead changes. Lead. Good girl. Slower doesn't necessarily mean lead change. So let's just ride a left lead, but ride it a little slower. See there, she wanted to now just kind of run off a little bit. So we're gonna try that again. We have to have many speeds. It's good for her fitness. Nope. She thinks that if we're going collected, it means that we're swapping leads. Try to correct her. Okay, so just a slow collected canter, but no swapping of leads. Good girl. No swapping of leads. No swapping of leads. I don't know. I don't want to get mad at her, but I gotta correct her. Ah, 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 come on. I'm not giving you a walk break because you did a good thing. I'm just making a correction. So I'm not mad at you. Just asking. Good girl. Want that left lead. So you have to have some understanding here about what that is. Come on. Just because I have contact 
I've got that right leg back. That doesn't mean switch. Good. Good. I'm exaggerating for her. Good. Then we'll turn left. Good girl. Whew. That was hard, wasn't it? So I want to make sure she's not anticipating. But when she is anticipating, you know, she's trying. She's not doing anything bad. She's just thinking that's probably what I want her to do. So I had to exaggerate my cue for her to make sure she understood I did not want her to switch leads. Just so we should get, could get that message across that we don't need to. We'll do a little bit more to the right and then we'll call it a day. So practicing all of these little pieces. Okay, responsiveness, Lissy. Oh, you're pulling your shoulder. There we go. So I'll just see if I can do a canner, slow canner without switching. I've got my leg back to really exaggerate the cue. Make it very clear that we're leading with the right side of our body. We're not stopping at the gate, come on. On a circle, it's easy to maintain lead. It's the straightaway, so we're gonna try the straightaway again. And maintain. Yeah, it's a feeling of being ready to switch. Good girl. Without actually switching, good girl. So sometimes I want you to switch. Sometimes I don't want you to switch. Awesome. I'm really happy with how that went because it's really a breezy day. Some of the horses have been running around in their fields. She came out, felt pretty ready to work. So she definitely exceeded my expectations that way. And we got to play with those leads. Hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about building up their fitness, starting to incorporate some of those lead changes and just some general tips of horse training as well. Thanks for watching guys.